traders, FS Pep Collector here. Today is Thursday, August 15th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Euro US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So, on the monthly, I mean, this wave three scenario definitely seems like it's playing out. It looks like a wave A, it looks like three waves down for a wave B. I think this is a one, I think this is a two, and I think we are going to end up going up for that wave three, probably taking out these previous highs and likely going all the way up to about the 161.8 for an expanding flat wave C. So let's take a look at it on the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, first of all, I think this wave 5 is the wave 1. I think this is a big ABC crutch and I think it's an expanding flat wave 2. Then I think this is a 1 of wave 3. I think this is a WXY wave 2 of wave 3. I think that we are already in this wave 3 on the higher time frames, which on the weekly time frame, I do believe it will continue to make those higher highs, higher lows in this wave 3. So taking it down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, definitely in a nice uptrend. Definitely don't break a structure to the downside. I am for sure looking for longs on sort of time frames. We've had some pretty decent price action this week. It definitely, definitely moves and then slows way, way down and then moves and then slows way, way down. So I do kind of expect that we're in a crutching right now, probably to the uptrend. So, taking it down to the 4 hour time frame. On the 4 hour time frame is where I got my Fibonacci retracement on the last impulsive move up. I would expect us to be in a crutching probably for at least a day or two, probably at least down to one of these lower Fibonacci levels. So, I'm personally just going to wait for the long opportunity. I'm not going to try to go sort inside one of these crutchings. I'm going to wait for like a three way pullback to a Fibonacci level and then I'm going to go long for the continuation of the uptrend. So, taking it right down to the 1 hour time frame. Most likely we are in a correction now to the last move up. So I have my Fibonacci retracement on the last move up. We are not even to the 38% Fibonacci yet. So I do think there's a pretty good chance this correction will probably last at least a day or two. I think there's probably a pretty good chance it's going to stretch out into a much bigger correction, probably down to at least the 50%, maybe even the 61.8. So if you do see three waves down, like a nice A, a nice wave B, and a nice wave C to a Fibonacci level, then you see a nice engulfing move to the upside, especially if it gives you a break of structure. That is definitely the entry that I'm waiting for for the continuation of the uptrend. I mean, if you are a scalper, trading in a very short time phase, you definitely could be looking for sorts right now, but I still think the bigger, better, more reliable money is going to be looking for longs at the end of three-way pullbacks. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked down here in the corner. And as always, thank you and happy trading.